So my daughter talked us into getting another puppy this year. It's two years in a row that she had convinced us to getting a puppy. So her negotiating skills are getting really good. But it got me thinking about one of the game examples that my late business partner, Mark Overson, came up with that he had put in his book, Reality Gamification. And it was about, you know, training, you know, teaching kids how to train dogs. So just think of like comparing if you had like a course or a ebook or a PDF that would just like teach your kids how to train their new puppy, right? You know, what kid are you gonna like hand this book to and be like, read through this and learn how to train your puppy? Not too many 10 year olds, you know, 12 year olds are gonna just get that book, read it and then go and train the puppy. So now imagine the other option is a game that's called Best Friends. It's for kids and their puppies to play together against other kids and other puppies to earn points, earn prizes, earn rewards, go up the leaderboard and get you know, and be recognized by you know, whatever company is uh, you know putting this on or sponsoring you know this game. So, for example, you know, um, in um, level one. It could just be about naming your puppy, right? So you just create a video that's like introducing your puppy and what the name is, if there's any significance with the name, and then you get to see all the other kids in there with their puppies in the video, what the names of their puppies are and why they picked those names. And you get to see and learn and meet the other players. And that kind of kicks off, you know, the, um, the game. And let's say level two is just teaching your dog, you know, how to sit. And you watch the video, they tell you the commands, they tell you how to do it, and then you video yourself teaching your puppy you know, how to do it with the treats or whatever, and you get it on video, and then you submit that video, and you can see the other kids teaching their puppies you know, how to sit as well. So you can see like, how fast the other puppies learned, how, if yours was faster or not, um, you know, if yours is paying as much attention as the other kids, and some of the other ones might be funny because the dog keeps running off or whatever, so it's gonna be entertaining. And once they get through a certain amount of levels and they complete the stage, then they earn a prize. Like say they earn like a little ball, like a you know, fetch toy, you know, for you know, them and their, and their puppy. And they see themselves moving up through the leaderboard. And once they finish the game, then maybe they get invited to you know, an event. You know, now, you know, with the current climate, maybe not so much, but once things get back to normal, there could be like an event where they, where they can go and they can get recognized as finishing the best friends game. They get a certificate, they get some recognition, all that good stuff. So your kid is gonna be more engaged and wanting to learn more, not only because the information is easier for them to consume and apply, they're seeing other kids that just got a puppy just like them, you know, doing it and um, moving up the leaderboard, earning prizes and being incentivized to get it done. So it's going to be more fun, more engaging, more interacting, and they're going to learn the skill so much faster than if you just handed them, you know, a book or a set of videos. So that's the power of, uh, you know, reality gamification is that you are incentivizing people to take action to learn the actionable skill that they can apply in the real world. Um, and not just doing it like a video game where you're just earning virtual you know, points or armor or, or leveling up you know, in a virtual world.